Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the 19th and 20th question from CBSC Class 10, 2023-24. Sample question paper set 2 for Mathematics Standard with subject code 041. Section A which is multiple choice questions where each question is of 1 mark. Now the 19th and 20th question are assertion and reasoning questions. Now this 19th question is from the introduction to trigonometry chapter. Now the assertion is given as maximum value of 1 over sec theta plus 1 over cosec theta is 1 and the reason is given as maximum value of both sin theta and cos theta is 1. So let us see if the assertion is true or false first. We know that sec theta and cosec theta are the reciprocal trigonometric ratios of cos and sin. So let me write over here. So 1 over sec theta can be written as cos theta and 1 over cosec theta can be written as sin theta. So I am going to replace this 1 over sec theta and 1 over cosec theta by cos theta and sin theta. Now let us see if the maximum value of cos theta plus sin theta is equal to 1 or not. So let us see at what value of theta the cos reaches its maximum value and the same thing applies to sin theta as well. So let me write here. Now here I have written the angles at which cos and sin reaches its maximum value that is when theta is equal to 0 degree, cos theta is equal to cos of 0 degree and at 0 degree angle the cos reaches its maximum value which is equal to 1. And when the angle theta is 90 degree, sin theta that is sin 90 reaches its maximum value equal to 1. So at these two angles that is 0 degree and 90 degree, cos and sin reaches their maximum values and that maximum value is 1 which means for cos theta plus sin theta which we have written here so let me write it again here so cos theta reaches its maximum value of 1 when theta is 0 and sin reaches its maximum value of 1 when theta is 90 degree so when we add them up together the maximum values of these two we should get an answer of 2 but here in the assertion they have given 1 over sec theta plus 1 over cosec theta its maximum value is 1 which is incorrect. We should get here 2 not 1 as their maximum values. So the assertion is false. Now let us look at the reasoning. The maximum value of both sin theta and cos theta is 1. This is true because just now we saw that their maximum values are going to be 1. So in this case we have assertion which is incorrect or false and the reason which is true. So we are going to mark the option D. The assertion is false but the reason is true. Now let us move on to the 20th question. Now the 20th question is from the probability chapter. The assertion says the probability of getting a bad egg in a lot of 400 is 0.035. The number of good eggs in the lot is 386 and the reasoning is if the probability of an event is p, the probability of its complementary event is going to be 1 minus p. Now let us concentrate on the assertion first. Now here there are two events taking place that is one probability of getting a bad egg and the second event is probability of getting a good egg. So let me write here. The probability of getting a bad egg, I have taken it as P of B and probability of getting a good egg is taken as P of G. And we know that sum of all the probabilities should be equal to 1. So let us write here, sum of all probabilities is equal to 1. So I have added both the events that is probability of getting a bad egg plus probability of getting a good egg is equal to 1. Next we are going to just plug in the value of probability of getting a bad egg because it is given over here as 0.035. So substituting here 0.035 plus probability of getting a good egg is equal to 1. Now taking 0.035 on the other side of equal to sign we get probability of getting a good egg is equal to 1 minus 0.035. So this will give us a value of 0 0.965. So this is the probability of getting a good egg. Now we have to simply multiply the probability of good egg with the total number of eggs present in the lot that is 400 
and we have to check whether their product is going to give us 386 or not. So let me write here. So total number of good x in the lot is equal to total number of x that is 400 times probability of getting good x which we just calculated here as 0 0.965 and when you multiply them you'll get a value of 386 which is same as the value given in the question that is they have given the number of good x in the lot is 386 that means our assertion is correct now let us look at the reasoning if the probability of an event is p the probability of its complementary event so in this question if we consider the probability of an event as probability of getting good x as p that is if we take this as equal to p then the probability of its complementary event complementary means its opposite that is probability of getting paddock it is going to be obviously 1 minus p because as we saw here sum of all probability should be equal to 1 so if p of g is p then its complementary is going to be 1 minus p so the reasoning is also true over here because we made use of the same concept so the answer is a that is both assertion and reason are true and reason is the correct explanation of a i hope you have understood all the steps and like the video if you know any other way of solving this example do comment below and if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching